Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial guys, I will be showing you how to get your products SKU in WooCommerce WordPress. First of all guys, I will need you to go to your wordpress.com slash WP admin to open the dashboard, log in into it and then go to plugins, add new and therefore go here search for WooCommerce and then install it just from here. After that, activate it through this button. Then go to install plugins, go to active and as you can see here, I have WooCommerce and WooCommerce payments ready to start. If that was not the case for you, go to inactive, search for them and activate them. Now, after we finish with these steps, all you need to do is refresh the page. So this new loadout or menu will be over here. Now, for you to get your product SKU, you only need to go to your product. So for example, let me go to our product and the SKU will be here. So how we can actually add this SKU? Let me just go for like a new product real quick. And here I will put the name, for example, iPhone X, and I will add here one. And basically here you must put the product image. Let's put this image and the SKU shall be over here. So let, let's just put here the price, which is gonna be somewhere around 800, for example. And here in the inventory section, you will find the SKU. So here, for example, let's add, for example, I have about, uh, let's add, for example, here 10 or something like that. So here it is. And basically here, they will give you information about SKU. So here, if I went over here, so SKU refers to stock keeping unit, a, u uh, a unique identifier for it, distinct products and service that can be purchased. Now, as you can see, I have, for example, 10. Now, now when I'm finished, I click on publish. Then I will go to my product over here. And you will find that I have 10 SKUs. And even if I went to the website, I will find the same thing, which is SKU 10. So guys, that's how you can get your SKU in WordPress WooCommerce. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial.